everyone, so we're back with another video. This one is um, painting with kitchen utensils and Monique already is very excited to be using the different things from the kitchen that she's not normally allowed to touch. So I'll turn the camera around and you'll be able to see what we're using. So here's Monique, as you can see, she's playing with the things. Like I say, she's not normally allowed to touch these, so it's very exciting. So we've got a couple of plastic forks. We've got um, a bowl, which she's drinking tea out of. A scratchy pad there. We've got a cupcake wrapper, and then we've got one of these spatulas as well. Monique's having lots of fun. So I've just gone off to get the paints. Um, this activity idea was by crayonfreckles.com. I'll put the link below. So they use um, some different kitchen utensils. I think they're slightly different to all the ones we've got, but obviously you can use anything, anything at all in your kitchen that's safe. Um, I wouldn't advise a potato peeler. Might cut, cut your toddler's fingers. Okay, so I'm back now. I've got the paints, but I haven't got any paper. Monique's still playing and having lots of fun without the paints. <laughs> I've got the paper here ready. And then for the paints, I've just used a lid and I've put different colours on. So we've got blue, purple, red, green, orange and yellow. So I'm just going to let her do whatever she wants to do put the utensils in and make the pattern that she wants to make. So it's a child-led play rather than me telling her what to do. Obviously, I will make sure that she doesn't get paint everywhere. So, I'll just set the camera up and then we'll see what happens. So, all you need for this activity is kitchen utensils, uh, Cranefreckles.com used a baking tray to keep the paint all together, but we've just used a chopping board here and we've got a cover down as well. So I'm going to pass it over to Monique now, give her the paints and get her to do some printing on the paper. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got colours here. And you can use your things, you can dip them in the paint and put them on the paper. Go on, it's okay. On the paper. Wow, some dotting. What colour is that? Red. Red dotting. Turn it round this way, let's see what this does. Oh! Turn it round the other way. That's it. Wow. So you can use the other things as well. Don't mix them all up though. Use that one. You don't want to mix the colours up or they'll all go black. Wow. Purple. How about this one? So this is just a medicine um, utensil. Oh. To put a bit more and you've still got paint on there. <gasps> Big blob of paint. So my fingers. What shape does that make? What shape is it making? Mm. Making a circle. Mm. Wet. Come here. Yep, have you got it? There we go. What about this one? What are you going to do with this one? Okay. Right, which one are you using next? You back on the fork? What colour is that? Yellow. Oh. 
of what? This oh. one, that's purple. Put this one down and you can concentrate on what you're doing. Do you want to use this part? Yes, please. So you could put it that way or you could put it that way. Wow. <gasps> Do I move these out of the way? Ooh. And then you're going to stamp it on the paper. Shall I help you? Should we do it that way? Yeah, got it? Good girl. Can you see? Oh, what shape is it? I have a Yeah, what shape's that one as well? Lots of circles. It's a beautiful picture. That's green. A wolf what? Can you tell me? A wolf what? Red. Alright, can I do some? Wow. Okay, which one are you? Oh, we can't use this one. That's a funny one. It's a scratchy pad. Mm. Put some over here where it's white. That's it. Oh! I have to do a table. Okay. This is good. You stamp them on and take it off again. It's very colourful. Take this one away. Which one? Are you? Oh, we've not used this one. Oh, wow. A love what? A love what? That is a spatula. Which way are you putting it in? Like that. A tail. Why don't you put the whole thing on like that? Let's squash it like that. That's it. Squash it down like that. Right, try that one. Oh. Mm. I definitely recommend that for toddlers and older children as well. As you saw at the beginning, Monique just enjoyed playing with the things that she can't usually play with. So um, yeah, we love that one. That's a great one. And what a beautiful picture. Nice and colourful. Okay, thanks for watching. If you've got any ideas or anything that you want us to have a go at, just get in touch. Okay, yeah. bye. Yeah.